I should have. Um, now, in this one, ladies and gentlemen, we can simplify. We're taking the cube root. We can simplify y to the fifth power. But it's like, it's kind of almost to the point. It's like, I mean, why? Let's just multiply everything. So what we, all you're basically doing, guys, you see, we can't really take the cube root of anything in here, nope. except for this y to the fifth. But you know what? I'm, instead of just doing that one by itself, I'm just going to multiply everything. So I don't really have anything to multiply 2 by in this case. So I'm just going to leave 2 on the outside. And basically, I have 2 times 4, which is 8. x times x squared is x cubed. And y squared times y to the fifth is going to be y to the seventh. seventh. Now that I've multiplied them, I go ahead and simplify. Wait, why did you multiply it so fast? No. Because there's really nothing I could do to simplify. Go around that with this. Go around that with this. I couldn't, you know, on this problem, see, on these problems, I could simplify them, right? Before you multiply. So my rule that I told you guys to do was simplify before multiplying. But you don't have to. It just makes the problem easier. In this case, there's nothing I could simplify except for that y to the fifth. So I just said, you know what, let's just multiply them. There's no simplifying I can do before. So now, what is the cube root of 8? Do I know the cube root of x cubed? X. x. And y to the seventh can be written as y cubed times y cubed times y, right? So really, that's going to leave me left with y squared times the cube root of y. So my final answer is 4xy squared times the cube root of y. Just doing them a little bit quicker to move along. <laughs>